Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everyone. My name is Muhammad Shafiq bin Hamad Zadisha. I am a student from University Technology Malaysia. Today, I would like to inform to you guys about aerial survey. So, without further ado, let us dive into the meaning of aerial survey. Aerial survey is a method of collecting geographical information or other imagery by airborne platform such as airplanes, helicopters, UAVs, balloons or other aerial metrics. Typical types of data collected include aerial photography, LIDAR, remote sensing by using various visible and invisible bands of the electromagnetic spectrum such as infrared, gamma or ultraviolet and also geophysical data such as aeromagnetic surveys and gravity. It can also refer to the chart or map made by analyzing a region from the air. Aerial survey should be distinguished from satellite imagery technologies because of its better resolution, quality and atmospheric conditions which can negatively impact and obscure satellite observation. Today, aerial survey is sometimes recognized as a synonym for aerophotogrammetry, part of photogrammetry where the, where the camera is placed in the air. Measurements on aerial images are provided by photogrammetry technologies and methods. Aerial surveys can provide information on many things not visible from the ground. For the information collected by aerial survey to be useful, this information needs to be georeferenced. The georeferencing of information is usually done using GNSS with similar techniques as the techniques used for land surveying. There are various uses of aerial survey. Most notably, aerial survey is needed in land surveying, vegetation monitoring, transportation projects, archaeology, geophysics, mineral exploration, and many others. To carry out an aerial survey, the sensor needs to be fixed to the interior or the exterior of the airborne platform. With main aircraft, this is accomplished either through an aperture in the skin of the aircraft or mounted externally on a wing. With unmanned aerial vehicles, which is widely known as UAV, the sensor is typically mounted under or inside the vehicle. Aerial survey systems are typically operated with other equipment, such as flight navigation software. Flight navigation software is used to direct the pilot to fly in the desired pattern for the survey. Then, GNSS is also utilized which is a combination of GPS and initial measurement unit IMU to provide position and orientation information for the data recorded. Next instrument is the gyro stabilized mount to counter the effects of aircraft roll, pitch and yaw. Lastly, data storage unit is used to save the data that is already collected. Aerial surveying is best utilized for large areas which would otherwise be unable to be captured by traditional method or would take numerous site visits and long hours to cover. It is also ideal for locations that are difficult to access. With a pre-planned flight path or the skills of an experienced pilot, drones can be accessed at, can access any difficult places with ease. The 3D visualization of the data collected by aerial surveys can be created by georeferencing the aerial photos and other sensor data in the same reference frame. Auto rectifying the aerial photos and then draping the auto rectified images on top of the other sensor screen. It is also possible to create digital terrain models and the 3D visualization using multiple aerial photographs. Techniques such as adaptive least square stereo matching are then used to produce a dense array of correspondences which are transformed through a, through a camera model to produce a dense array of XYZ data which can be used to produce digital terrain models and auto image products. I think that's all for now. I hope that you can understand my explanation and able to gain benefit from this video. Thank you for listening and goodbye for now.